Hi everyone, this is Mens here, playing the Tier 2 Premium Japanese Battleship, the Mikasa. Now, you can't normally buy this on the North American server. Uh, I won it through a ornament contest. Now, if you're facing one of these, really, it's just a heavily armored ship. Only Tier 2 Battleship currently in the game on the North American server. Um, it only has two main guns with two barrels apiece. Um, so basically, it's not that dangerous. It's basically a giant meat shield. But what it does have is, basically, it shells hurt a lot. I only use HE because AP over penetrates anything you face, unless you, hit a, unless you hit a citadel, which is very unlikely since you have only four shells firing at a time. But what it does have is a crap ton of uh, secondary Battle guns starts. on it. Its secondaries will basically tear anything to shreds that come. I pretty. I actually forget the range. I think it's somewhere around four kilometers, um, a little bit over that. With the experienced captain having the tier four um, captain's perk, but honestly, I forget it off the top of my head. Would have been nice knowing it uh, going into a battle like this, but that's my bad. Now your main um, enemy when you're not facing tier 3's is destroyers. Um, cruisers can definitely chip away at you with HE and fires, but destroyers with their torpedoes can put a hurting on you very quickly. Now I'm going to stay up north here. I don't want to get surrounded, so I'm going to try to head up this way and go from there. Alright, so this guy... Got a Chester here too. Fortunately I don't have much to hurt them unless I get within secondary ranges and that's why this ship isn't sold because it's not exactly uh, the most practical ship in the world. It was sold on other servers, especially the European, and people who bought it weren't exactly happy because it's not exactly the most balanced ship in a bad way. So I'm just going to dive in on, head on here to get within secondary range of these guys. I'm going to focus on this uh, Chester to begin with. Hello, Mr. Chester. At least I set him on fire there. And here comes the secondaries. <laughs> that guy's the Chikuma's a little smart. He's turning away. He probably knows not to get within... I actually think it's 3.8 kilometers, come to think of it. So I'm going to use my first repair here. It looks like everybody's diving towards the battleship. Oh, don't ram him. No! Why did you do that? Oh my god. He would have been perfectly fine. I guess he's brand new. Holy fires. I need to get these guys closer to me somehow. <laughs> Fortunately, the rest of my team's coming up to help me. Yeah, it's a problem. Um, if people are smart and most of the enemy team is staying 
outside of the center, I'm not really able to do much. And you see this map a lot. Um, really just stuck with your main guns, which are, aren't exactly the best. They're decent in the accuracy department, but nothing spectacular. And they don't exactly fire too quickly either. I'm just going to start chugging towards A. Might as well get in the fight somehow. Worst comes to worst, I'll get cornered by a destroyer. Alright, so it looks like he... Why he got his engine taken out? He's traveling pretty damn slow there. I definitely undershot him on the first one. But AP is tempting in this, but I have not had any luck with it. It only does a little bit more damage, but I find HE just a better bet. Yeah, he's still traveling pretty, pretty damn slow here. I'm going to take a whack at him again. Or maybe I'm not, because there's this nice freaking island in my way. <laughs> I guess I should have paid a little bit more attention. Alright, so he's back up and running. I'm gonna start worrying about these guys in the south, so I'm gonna divert my attention this way. So, I'm judging by how fast he moves. I guess actually got out of playing a match in the end end in I hope that these guys continue to head straight up so I can close the gap I'm actually gonna be heading right here as a battleship I want to keep myself not exactly the biggest target in the world but I still want people shooting at me don't want to have my teammates taken the brunt of the damage. Ooh, Umikaze got hit by something, or maybe it was a little earlier. Guy's starting to annoy me that I'm going to start focusing on him. Although I really don't want to get hit by torpedoes at the same time. I'm actually going to let that burn in case I get hit by torpedoes here. Thank you for coming within secondary range. Proceed to die. Now I guess I need to get within secondary range of this guy. But while I'm not the most practical ship in the world, especially if you're facing tier 3s, it is unique and it is pretty fun to play with. Unless you're facing tier threes, in which case it really sucks. Like, really, really frickin' sucks. <laughs> Come on, secondaries, get them. He's a goner. Still have a destroyer somewhere, no idea where he is, but I'm sure I'm going to find out fairly soon. I am going to get on a cap, just in case. I 
Eh, I see smoke over there. So most likely he stole over that away. Detected by someone, so either a destroyer is in here or he's over this way. Either way, I'm probably gonna have some torpedoes thrown my way. do need to reset these guys because they are a little bit ahead of me. I'll take a crack at him. Oh shit. This is not good. <laughs> Why did I slow down? That really hurt. Holy shit, they were fired a freaking long time ago. I'll give that guy some guy a little bit of credit there. End of the day though, we still gotta win, so I'll take that. Definitely not the best match where I had a secondary brawl. I've had times where, especially against enemy Mikasas, you just have like three or four ships around you and your ship is just spewing out secondaries everywhere. It's freaking hilarious. But, end of the day, not exactly the best match in the world, but, hell, a win's a win. Did a little bit of damage, 1400 with my EG shells, a little bit fire. Out of... My secondaries, they only hit 16% of the shot, which, not too bad, but decent amount of damage there. Uh, basically, a little under half of what my HE did, but end of the day, the Mikas is not exactly the most practical ship in the world, but it, it can be fun when it's top tier, um, but like I said, main batteries pretty much suck. Um, your secondaries are pretty damn good though so 3.6 kilometers stay further than that and you're pretty good because this thing can't really damage you that well or it still can damage you but it you're going to be able to easily out damage it but anyway thanks for watching this video uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and if you like this video feel free to support me here on youtube uh, you can find a fan funding button in the upper right hand corner um, and also check out my websites, mensgaming.com slash world of warships and wakuru.com. Thanks for watching.